everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! From the time you wake up, you prepare for school, you go to school, and when you go home, you use energy. This energy allows you to exert force to do your daily activities. In this Shensh Amazing video, we will be starting our topic about force, motion, and energy with a short video about force. The word force normally refers to the measurement of the push or a pull of an object. Ang SI unit para sa force ay Newton o capital letter N. Ito ay ilan sa mga halimbawa ng paggamit ng force sa ating everyday life. Stretching a rubber band, folding a piece of paper, pushing a car, and squeezing the toothpaste tube when you brush your teeth. At present, meron tayong apat na fundamental forces in nature. Bakit sila tinatawag na fundamental forces? It is because they govern the events that take place in the environment. Ang apat na ito ay strong nuclear force, tayo sa strong nuclear force. This force holds together the protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. In this picture, makikita natin ang nucleus as the red and orange circles in the center. The destructive power of this force was demonstrated during World War II in the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, in which the bombing alone caused an instant 70,000 deaths and dahil sa effects ng radiation, tumaas ang death toll to 140,000 after 3 months. These are just some of the effects of atomic bombing. Our second fundamental force is electromagnetic force. This force binds the electrons to the atomic nucleus. In the first picture, you can see the electrons spinning around the atomic nucleus. This is also responsible for the attraction of atoms to form molecules and between ions in solid objects. The force of attraction between the same kind of molecules is called cohesion. Makikita natin ang cohesion sa first picture. As you can see, ang dalawang molecules, they are the same molecules. On the other hand, sa adhesion, Ang attraction naman exists between two different kinds of molecules. In the picture, we can see that the molecules are different from each other. Ipinakikita ng electromagnetic force ng electricity at magnetism ay closely related. Ano ang concrete example that shows this relationship? We can see this relationship in a huge electromagnet, the one which is color orange in the picture, na ginagamit para makuha ang mga heavy metal na object na makikita sa isang junk area. Our third fundamental force is said to be stronger than gravitational force but weaker than the forces that we have discussed earlier. It is weak nuclear force. Konti lang ang knowledge ng mga scientists tungkol sa force na ito. But one common knowledge about it is that it governs certain types of radioactive decay or the force that changes inside the nucleus of an atom. Our fourth fundamental force is gravitational force. Ito ay ang force of attraction between two objects. Ano ang ginagawa nito? 
it causes objects to fall towards the earth. It is the reason why we can stand. And the main reason why a ball which is thrown upward goes back to the ground. Let's have another trivia. Alam nyo ba that your favorite raft magnet is stronger than the Earth's gravity? Other forces, just like the force in the atoms of the nuclei of a magnet and the force that is responsible for radioactive decay, is stronger than the Earth's gravity. Gravitational force is the weakest of the four fundamental forces. The entire pull of the gravity of the Earth cannot compete with the strong nuclear force of the nuclei of the atoms, weak nuclear force, which is responsible for radioactive decay, and electromagnetic force, which sticks your ref magnet to your refrigerator. Force cannot be seen, pero makikita natin ang ilan sa mga effect ng force on an object. For example, a change in shape in a dough is observed when a rolling pin is used. Blowing air into the balloon causes a change in size. An applied force can also start a stationary object to move. In the picture, the force is applied by the soccer player which causes the ball to move. Force can also cause a moving object to stop. Halimbawa, the goalkeeper applies a force which causes a moving ball to stop. Applying force can speed up or slow down an object. The force applied by the cyclist on the pedal of the bike may slow down or speed up the bicycle. Force can also change the direction of motion. The force applied by the women on the rowers can cause the direction of the boat to change. Before we have a quiz, let's have a quick recap first. This video talks about the four fundamental forces in nature, namely strong nuclear force, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, and gravitational force. Aside from those, we also explained about the effects of force on an object. It's good time! We want to know if you really learned something, so we will be having a short quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check.
Time's up! Let's check kung tama ang mga sagot nyo. Number 1. This force holds together with the protons and neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. It is the strongest among the four fundamental forces. It is the strong nuclear force. Number 2. It causes objects to fall towards the Earth. It is gravitational force. Number 3. It binds molecules in solid and liquid objects. The answer is electromagnetic force. Number 4. This force governs radioactive decay. Ano ulit yung force na very small lang ang knowledge natin about sa kanila? The answer is weak nuclear force. Last number, number 5. This word refers to the push or pull of an object. The answer is force. We will be discussing about motion in our next video, so tune in for that. We want to know your score. Please comment it down in the comment section below. That ends our Shansha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!